This is my attempt at making a feedback, which, uh, as it says in the blog, is something you use to get swarms from uh, difficult places where you can't uh, use the usual things of getting up a ladder and cutting a branch away. Um, the base is just a bit of plywood. Uh, this is the bit to which one attaches the uh, vacuum, which we'll do in a minute. This thing here is really just to adjust the uh, sucking power of the thing. Uh, obviously you want to just gently suck the bees and not mash them up so you can move this thing around to sort of release pressure. Um, if you leave it like that then it uses full pressure. If you lose, use it like that then it reduces it quite a lot and then you walk around with it until you get the right uh, sort of strength. Uh, on top of it goes another old uke uh, that I don't use. Uh, and what I should have done is perhaps put some more weather shield around here. I'm going to put some on here. Um, and what will happen is that inside here, you probably put a couple of frames on to give the bees something to do uh, once they're in there. Then eventually, once they've settled in, you can just lift the frames out and put them in a, in a full hive. Then on top of this goes the roof. Uh, for no particular reason, there's a couple of little perspex windows in there so you can sort of see what's going on. And this uh, is then attached to this, and this is what you hopefully hoover the beans up with. So I'll just set it up and you can see how it works. Okay, um, the hose has been vacuum, sorry, right, well, it's been attached to here, um, and what I've done is I've put a hive strap around it just to clamp it as tight as I can, obviously if it's not um, sort of fairly tight you lose a lot of the pressure, uh, and although I asked for some volunteers uh, from the bees, they seem to have other things to do at the moment, so what I'm going to attempt to do is just uh, hopefully hoover up some of this sawdusty stuff outside, uh, uh, on the table here. Um, outside there is an old skanky frame that I got out of one of the hives yesterday, which I brought back to melt down. Still got a bit of honey in there, and if you have a look at this, you'll see, oops, there they go, there are some bees uh, cleaning it out which is fine, it's what they do. However, what these three don't realise is that they are test pilots, potentially for um, my BVAC. So, we'll see what happens. So, first thing, turn the vacuum on. And then, this is the hose. So, uh, so as it stands, this is going to make a very good sawdust bank. Um, what I will now try and do is move it outside uh, and have a go at those three things that are sitting outside. Okay, we have a, a couple of things here that are about to get the shock of their lives, possibly. So I'm going to see if we can do something with this one. And she's gone. Uh, how about you? Oh, she's still there. She's going to get stuck. Try that one. No, she's stuck in the frame as well. Um, but there is one bee in there. Let's see if we can get a second one. Oops. Hmm, okay. Let's have a look to see how the bee is getting on that's inside the um, inside the back. You might have to take my word for this, but while I was trying to get the strap off, another bee turned up and she was um, encouraged to get in there. And there they are. There's one of them. 
her if you can see her. But she's okay. A bit stunned, possibly. But, uh, and there she goes. So, the other one seems to have escaped anyway. So I need to make it a little bit more airtight, but um, not the worst start in the world.